Welcome back guys and this is my Clips THX video. Um, what are we doing with the Clips THX? So let me stand there so you guys can see all the boxes. So I am upgrading um, my Clips room to full THX setup. So I originally did the light setup. Um, I want to up it a bit and, and go to the full THX system. The light system is great, but the full THX just has that bit more, but it does come at a premium. So let me quickly run you through what we have here. Some of the items are still missing. They will be sent to me, I'm guessing by the end of the weekend. Um, so what I have, surrounds. These are the THX 5000 surrounds. These are bipole speakers. Um, they are in, insanely impressive speakers. I will unbox this set now so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, expensive, expensive. Although always the THX system from Clips comes in at a good value for what you are getting because it is a mind-blowingly good system. But that said, it's still not cheap. So these are about 50,000 Rand a set. So it works you out 100,000 Rand for, for surround speakers. Yeah, But good. So we'll get to that now. This is going to be the front stage. Um, this is the um, 6000. THX 6000 LCRs. Left, right, center being the same speakers, although they do sell them as left and right and a center, that is for the tweeter orientation, um, so it can, be, it can be correctly placed. I will add in a pick of the correct orientation. These are cinema grade front speakers, huge Tractix horn, mid bass, built as to an absolute, this is built like a tank, I'll show you guys now. So this is the front stage, again, 100,000 Rand, Actually, a bit more, 100,000 and change for the front stage. Now, for the guys that watched my previous video on the Miller and Crystal X15 going back home, I needed to replace it. THX 1200 subwoofers from Clips. These are not made for the lounges, made for music. These are THX cinema subwoofers i've always looked over these because they're only 12 inches and the other ones are 15s and 16s and this is an expensive set um, these are passive they weigh an absolute ton we'll open one now as well but just carrying this box being a passive sub it's insane how heavy it is it weighs about the same as the miller and crystal sub being much smaller so that just gives some nod to the build quality and driver used in this i'll try and find a pick alan once told me he had to open one there was something a rattle or something and it's absolutely huge so i'll try and find a pick um so also this these two subs with the amplifier that comes with them i think it's 157,000 rand so if you guys if you are looking at doing a clips t86 system um you still need to add a projector to this you need to add a screen to this you need to add um, a receiver to this and you need to add two or maybe four Atmos speakers to this. So this system, audio alone, um, one, two, three, fifty, four, about 500,000, give or take. Like I said in my video, the previous one, showing the actual THX system and where you spec it, depending on certain things, receiver, um, what ceiling speakers, if you're going proper THX ceiling speakers, again, those things are expensive. You can almost add another 50K or 60K even just for height speakers. Then you need a proper receiver. Um, what projector are you going? What screen? But let's call it 500K can get you into this system, bar a few specs here and there. Um, okay, so let's get to the unboxing. And then I'll also go through, I'm redoing my Clips THX room. Hence the stuff that's going to go in there. Um, I will show you that video on the room as well. I don't know if I'll make it one video. I might. I might split it into two because this unboxing might still be a bit long. 
Um, but okay, let's start with the THX surrounds. I've only actually ever seen these. Um, these I've never installed or handled myself. So this is going to be a first. Oh, what do I open now? Is this the surround? Yeah, this is the surround. Because I'm greeted with a speaker. But this is this is the entire THX system that you can get. The 6000 being the biggest. Then it's the 5000s. And then the THX. Um, oh, it's basically, yeah. So the 6000 fronts. Um, the 5000 that is the left surround and why is it called s left and s i don't know why that is like that and then the subwoofer and then they give some feet if you guys don't want to put it mounted to the wall you can put it on some nice isolated driver feet this is packaged well it's packaged very well look at that nice and solid almost like a double box um, these are big surrounds and they are heavy heavy as hell um, let's put let's put we just make a plan here quickly on how we are going to do this uh, let's do this okay Jeez, these things are nice, eh? So, let's take off. Okay, so I'm already used to this finish. It's like a, a graphite type, heavy industrial, take a lot of knocks finish. I really love this. This is very cinema. This can also go lounge, but this is more cinema set. Then if you go to the front, you have the two removable grills with the Clips THX um, THX Ultra 2 logos on. Let's remove that. And you will have the same on both sides. Just being in different orientations. There you go. Bipole design. Mid range driver. Track tricks horn. Mid range driver. Track tricks horn. At the back, you have your slot ports. I see you can actually orientate this any way around. Oh, no, no, no. You can just do one or two. One is sufficient. If you really want to do two, you can. But that just adds a bit of a pain to line them up. And then you have your binding post there. I see they sort of stick out a little bit. I think maybe there's something we still need to add, which I can't see. I wonder why they made these ports to extrude a little bit. That's actually weird. I'll see if there's something else in the box that still comes with this. But okay, so that is the surround. This thing is, yeah, this is built like a tank. I must say one thing about the THX system. Build quality, insane, insane levels. Oh, they're magnetic and they push in to give you like double, double um, security. Or are they not magnetic? No, they're not magnetic. They just came off very easily. So they push in. Okay, guys, so not magnetic. Do I have the right one there? See if they're both the same. Yeah, they sit at a bit of an angle. Looks like that is the way it's designed. Okay, let's not linger on that too much. Let's get, put that to the side. And let's get to one of the big LCR front speakers. Okay. Okay, let's just see. There's a certain box I wanted to open. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it here, and then I'll move it there. As you can see, these things are not light. They are heavy speakers. Um, so don't think because they're satellites, 
um, no, they are they are big and they are heavy. Okay, let's unbox this bad boy. On top, again the same as there was in the other box with the feet if you want to put them down. If I remember correctly, installing these before, they come with no mounting hardware at the back. So if you want mounting hardware, you'll need to get your own. So that's a bit of a miss for me always. We'll see now if they've changed things. I doubt it. But we have we have installed these before. And um, easiest thing is actually built a shelf for it behind the screen. Um, I can just stand on the shelf. You guys will not believe how heavy that is. Okay. There we go. Same. Sa oh, it's actually on its side. Uh. Same hard wearing graphite type finish as on the surround. I love it. These also, they come off. There we go. So not magnetic, they like go in with the push pins. Huge track tricks horn. Slot ported. Two mid-range drivers. I think these are five, five, five inches. Yeah, I think they're five and a quarter or whatever inches. I'll post the specs and I'll also post the wattage of what they can handle and the ohmage. I'll put that, all of that on screen. See at the back, this hardware doesn't come in the box. So if you want to mount it, you'll have to sort of make your own plan there. Same again, you have your binding post there. So nothing on this is really made for insane looks. This is made to go behind the screen or to disappear in your cinema. But build quality, guys, I'm telling you, some of the absolute best. Um, I would have liked the grills to be magnetic. But that being said, also if we do install them behind the screen, we actually take the grill off because you don't want a cloth and then another cloth. So... Yeah, I'm guessing each to their own. Magnetic would have been nice, but then again, it can be something that rattles, depending on the strength of the magnets. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side. Let's go to the big subwoofer. Okay hey guys, now we have come to what you all have been waiting to see and what most of you are here to see. This is always the heart of any cinema and that is your subwoofers. That makes or breaks it. If the base and the impact is not there, you do not have a cinema. I'm sorry. So, um, these are two passive 12s. We'll unbox this one now. It comes with a 1200 watt THX amplifier, which is standalone. You can also buy a separate if you want, but they come as a package. That is not here, that's coming from Cape Town. So I'll add that video in when I get that. But let's get to the subs themselves. I've actually never really handled or installed these. Um, so, although I've listened to them and I've seen them a lot, this will be my first time actually holding it in my hands. I cannot believe how heavy they are. It's a passive sub, I mean it's a box and a subwoofer. Why are they so heavy? Guys, and saying by how heavy they are, um, this thing is, I can't pick it up like that. Now, I wonder if there's a weight on here somewhere. So I can tell you what it weighs. I'll try and Google the specs. But this thing is heavy. Okay, so what is on top? Let's see what we are going to do. Okay, same thing again. Um, the clip system, THX system. This time, no sticky feet. 
So um, obviously I'm guessing this will come with its own um, um, feet attached. I just want to put this back in this box so I don't mix them up. Okay. So these will come with some sort of foot attached to the sub. Although I'm going to be replacing that with SVF Sound Path Isolation Feet. They are just the business. And they surpass any standard foot that comes on a sub. So I'm guessing we need to roll this as always. So let's do let's do the old roly poly trick. Save our backs and roll the box. Never the most glorious thing to do an unboxing. Okay, so let's dig into this. Let's see if there's a port. Just want to get this out. Like I can pick it up like so. Yeah, that's easy enough. Move that box out of the way. So let's see what's going on here. There's some sort of foot at the bottom. Yeah. How is this thing so heavy? Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Man. I've not had my gym today, but I think I'm okay. So, at the back, where you would normally find an amplifier, there's nothing. There is, there's a port here. But this is some sort of special design. I can actually hear when I talk into it. Something is happening here. Um, before we go to the port, so XLR or what do you call those? Speak on connectors to connect it there. Got your logo up here. I want to delve more into this port because it's there and it's slot ported there at the top. So this is some sort of very clever design. Let me see if I can put some light on this and see what's going on here. Ah, I see. Guys, this is a sort of infinite baffle design. If you guys know what that is, it's where the port's not just straight. The port sort of rolls and goes down. And then this is here so to make the base more. Um, uh, it's called the infinite baffle design. I'll post a pic of what it does. But yeah, this is implementing that. So that explains why this sub can be so insane, but um, be so small. So let's, let's have a look at the driver. Okay, same type of pin design. That is so small. <laughs> uh, I've sort of gotten used to big subwoofers. And then we see a 12 inch again. Look how small that is. <laughs> I'm guessing this magnet is absolutely huge. As I'm speaking, I can feel how this port is doing something to my voice. I think this port design has a lot to do with the bass. This is a beautiful, look at this. For something that's going to be hidden, this is aluminium front baffle. That's beautiful. That's very nice. So, let's see if we can see... Well, before we go there, there's a box here of goodies. Let's just see what is in this. Let's open up. Okay, so let's see what's in this box of goodies. Oh, okay. It's the it's a very decent speaker connector cable. Very decent heavy so now i must say everything in here i can see why these subs are so expensive it is top-notch stuff i put that back now for 30 i can't connect these up until i get the amplifier 
Um, I wanted to show you guys the feet. Let me just put something soft on the floor. Although these are such an industrial design, you'll actually have to try and scratch and damage them. But even these feet, they feel very, very solid. Um, much better than your normal subwoofer foot design. Um, I'm very impressed with the finish on these. Okay, so these, or we'll be swapping them out. They aren't bad, but they are the same feet as on the SPR 150s. It's the rubber foot, um, but it's not a in proper insulating foot. So we'll be swap swapping those out, definitely. Okay guys, so that's a brief overview of the Clips THX system. I am now tired, but I'm not done. I need to get this stuff into the cinema, start connecting it up. Um, yeah, uh, it happens when you are excited. So no sleep for me. But guys, if you are interested in a demo of a Clips THX system, I've got mine on demo. Homation has one on demo. Um, brilliant little system. Can't go wrong with these. Um, hit me up if you guys are interested. But yeah, that was a brief overview and costing of what the system entails. And if you want to see more about speaking out systems, go and watch my previous video where I sort of run through the different options, starting from affordable to like mid-range to getting... This is getting to like ultra level. Um, this is proper cinema. If you can still go more than this, I would say double the budget one up. And then after that, it becomes what I call like super elites, like hypercars. Um, the Steinway systems and stuff like that where you're looking at 3 million rand upwards I don't play there. That's too rich for my blood. This is where I operate. This is what I like. Bang for buck and still proper cinema. But guys, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be firing this up and I'll give you a brief overview of the new THX room. Cheers. Bye. Hey guys, how's it and welcome back to the channel. So the final piece of the THX Ultra clip system has arrived. So let's do this unboxing quickly. This is the subwoofer amplifier for the two subs. It is the THX Ultra 2 KA1000 THX. That is its model number. Let's go into this quickly and see what this is all about. You'll see on all the custom install stuff, you can use any sub, but on the custom install subwoofers, they almost always come with a separate, separate amplifier that can be rack mounted. Why they do that, not quite sure. Maybe because um, the custom guys would like all their stuff in a separate place, you know, all the amps in a rack. Um, it's just the way they do things. So on top, we are greeted with the rest of the Clips THX um, um, manual for the subwoofers and the amplifier all in here. We have our power cables, two of them. Um, EU and US power cables, standard stuff. Packaging is very nice, very custom install esque with the foam instead of the polystyrene. So let's drag this out and have a squeeze. Just gonna put the box on the floor. Now, this is very custom install. All your custom install stuff always comes like this. Very different to your normal speakers and normal amplifiers. So let's get the plastic off. Let's get out. Okay, let's start at the back. So at the back, we have our speaker terminals, which are nice. I already put them in the subs. They sort of push and they turn. So you can't, these can't come out. This is very cool. So that's for the speaker out. You have your line in, line out, um, and you can in and out them again. So you can come in and out if you want to more amplifiers. I'm just going to be running the one with the two subwoofers. So this is a 1000 watt THX. I've actually not looked at the specs um, yet. So I'm not sure if this is a 1000 by 2 or if it is actually um, 500 by 2. I will post that in the link so you guys can know. Turn it around. 
Okay, so on the front, this is actually very nice. This is a very anodized, sort of brushed. Yeah, this is proper, no, not even anodized. This is proper brushed black aluminium. Very nice. And the whole chassis is aluminium. You have your, your level. Very nice. Very nice feel to it. Minimum, maximum. I always say when you do levels on sub, start at halfway. That's sort of where you'll end up. Um, unless um, you need to calibrate, you can up and down here or on the receiver. I like to use the receiver, so I'll go halfway here. You've got your low pass. So low pass here, 40 to 120 hertz. You've got your THX. So I'm guessing if we do THX, are they on or off? If we do THX, it's sort of going to change all the other stuff because THX mode will automatically cross this at 80, but I'll put it maximum anyways, and then THX will put on on. Um, boundary gain compensation. That's cool. So if you have your sub boundary gain compensation. So what that says to me is if you have a sub in the corner. So maybe if it's not in the corner, you can put some boundary gain on there. I'll play around with this and let you guys know when I do my big video on the system. Phase. This will be 0 to 180, normally front or in the rear of the room. And then power, we have auto on or off. Obviously, I like mine on auto. So where are the triggers? No triggers at the back. So I guess it's going to be auto sensing or to be hard on or off. So yeah, auto then, definitely. So in a nutshell, that's it. I do love it. Normally, the rack mounted stuff is very minimalist. This is quite nice with the finish and the Clips logo on there and the THX Ultra 2. I love it. This will go into my system now, guys, and then I will give you a video when it's all done. It's all basically done. I just need to plug it up and calibrate and get going. It's going to be an epic little system. So stay tuned for that video. Till the next one. Cheers. Bye. How's it, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today I'm going to give you a quick tour and demo of my clips thx room now before this was clips thx but we have now gone full thx so that means thx front stage thx surrounds thx subwoofers so full thx system so let me run you through this um, this is our in-house acoustic transparent screen that we do behind here um, I'll show you a picture of how this has been constructed, how the speakers are placed. Um, so you can see, I did take a few pictures. So we have your front speakers, your front stage, left, center, right, behind the screen. At the bottom, we have the Clips THX subwoofers behind the panels. They are built slightly out because I didn't want to come all the way out of the screen and steal all the real estate in the room. So the, the top is a bit more back than the front. All the panels can come off. Um, they are on with Velcro onto the framework, um, so they can all come off and all is acoustic transparent. My aircon is also up there behind the panels, um, so it keeps the equipment nice and cool. Um, I didn't build the equipment behind panels, I had these two existing, so I sort of just made them work. The center cavity I left open to get in for wiring, and then maybe later if I do add an additional sub, which will not be necessary on this system, but you know how we are. We change our rooms quite, quite frequently, so I don't want to bind myself to one specific um, layout. So that's the front stage. Surrounds, we have the THX 5000 bipoles. I'll add a picture of them in as well. They are placed to the left and to the right, and two a bit higher on the back wall. Then we have the ceilings. Ceilings are the only things that are not THX in this room. Um, one, I don't want to cut into the ceiling because it's a fiber optic ceiling. And two, um, the THX ceilings are bloody expensive. So maybe one day, but not now. Projector is still unchanged, the same. It's Epson 9400 or 6050 as you guys in the States know it. Um, driving all the power on this is the Denon A110, which was previously in the MK room. That is also changed. That is completely new room now. I will do that video still and I will compare these two rooms side by side for you. 
Um, just a quick up, uh, that's the Bowen Wilkins room now. This is Eclipse THX, all custom install cinema. Um, so yeah, A110, and at the bottom you see the THX amplifier for the two subwoofers. Um, screen is 120 inch, 16.9. Um, Blu-ray player, we have the Samsung 4K. Um, just because you don't really get Blu-ray players anymore, and to get them in, 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 in South Africa is even worse than getting them in the States. I wish they would come back and make some proper Blu-ray players. Uh, streaming on this is Apple TV. The streaming is good, you know, Video Shield, Apple TV, those are good streamers. But um, a disc just still takes takes it for me any day. Okay, guys, I'm quickly going to cut away. Um, I'm going to put the lights off, run a quick demo for you on some THX Dolby demos that I know won't get flagged. Okay, see you right now. Clips THX cinemas and that's why I always try and do them for clients as well because they are just such good bang for buck um, and when I did this whole cinema THX now I was wondering how are we going to beat it in that room um, going for the Bauer and Wilkins system um, but guys stay tuned for that video we did we did I had Alan here in the week and as good as this cinema is that cinema is just that little bit better um, but that's a video for another day guys i hope you enjoyed this this um tour of the room i'll also add in pics of the build um and stuff we did etc etc guys till the next video cheers bye <laughs>